What's up YouTube? Autobahn Dan here. Got some wrench organization and some screwdriver organization options that'll make your wrench door look like this. So stay tuned and we'll get on to it. Welcome to the Autobahn. So here we are, if your wrench drawer starts looking like this and you're looking for options, I'm here to show you what we got today, the toolbox widget. There's many options out there and I'm going to try to go as much detail as I can with the toolbox widget because uh, there's many out there and I want to get full detail on what you have to choose out there. They just came out, I like to show new stuff that's out there. Let's get on to it, Let's check these boxes out. Here we are, Toolbox Widget, veteran owned company, owned by veteran mechanics alike, and they will stand behind your back 100%. Let's take a look at the angled wrench holders, because if you got the big wrenches, you're going to need them angled for the drawers here. Each box you get a Toolbox Widget sticker. And a little story in the back. And here are the angled ones. Got the open the box. And all the bottoms and everything. There's a number TBW AW10. Holds 10. And here are the 10 right here. magnets and the plates are supposed to be removable this is more of a rubbery plastic as you can see just slide in just like that good angle there for you it's three and the last one is just one so it's two and then one, and then same thing on this one, two, and then one, and you can uh, go at it as you like. So a row of 10 will be this long. Let's get into the measuring part. So definitely for me, I wanna know what I get in the mail. I wanna know length, everything, all the minor details, so. When I do my videos, I want to get the little minor things in life here. So the bottom of this is 14 inches, but then uh, if it's in a drawer, it's going to be a total of just a little over 15 inches on the angle. So if you use it for your bigger branches, let's take an individual piece here. How much it's going to take. I'll let you do the math and then uh, it is just a little bit over four. Get the angle here for you. A lot of times in the camera it's uh, difficult and the width just a little over an inch. The magnet is pretty strong so far and these are supposed to come out just in case uh, you don't want the magnet. So here it is. The plate locks it in. There's the magnet. Take a closer look at that. It's glued onto a plate. This is the framing of it. Once again, it's rubbery plastic, so it's made to bend and the orange indicator to show you that a wrench is out right there. Very easy to see. Plate sits right there. And you can put it back on here like that in case you go back to a box that is made of metal. So there it is back in. I'll show you. 
show you how they slide in. Put that one in, how much a double and a single fit. Just a little over five, five and a half almost. And right here, only on the angle ones for now, just for now, they're still working on it. So you get the spot here to put these little pieces here. So this will be a six millimeter. Either way, the wrench will be faced this way, or either way you want, whatever floats your boat. These will fit in here. So it starts at six, and you can work your way on. And also, another feature you can add is this for $3.99. It's the toolbox widget logo on there. The modular tool organizing system. There you go. Nice view of it there. This is the piece that you'd put in the front. So let's measure that. 16 inches total front to back. So 10 wrenches, 16 inches total, $24.99 and $3.99. And then each of these right here are $9.99 each. So SAE metric, let me get you a close look at the sizes because there are some sizes skipped. Got quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, half inch, nine sixteenths, five eighths, eleven sixteenths, three quarter, thirteen sixteenths. We got six millimeter, seven, eight, nine is missing, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is missing, and 17, 18 is missing, 20, of course, 20 is not common, and it goes all the way to 21. So any questions, they are willing to back us up. If he gets more requests on sizes, he'll upgrade these up more. And uh, for now, these are $9.99 each. And this is what you get. And they'll easily fit in there. So you can tell what size. And they are working on these. So let's take a look at these next. All right, we got the upright wrench holders. This also holds 10. Warnings and here's the part number right there. You can pause it right there. Let's see what we have inside. Once again, you'll get a, another sticker here. This one survived a little bit. <laughs> and also the same magnet system underneath. So you can pry these out if you don't want the magnet. So these are a lot shorter with 10. Still the flexible plastic. These should uh, wear down with time here. These are really visible with the orange right here. You can see that clearly here. So let's measure this one. Nine inches total. Just about, yeah. And on uh, the double we got two inches just under two inches and on the single oops we have just about an inch to show how much a double and a single is about three inches Okay, so on the box, they're printed, but it's, these are, must be the updated ones here, so you can put the uh, little symbols on these now. So definitely, yeah, this, these guys, I talked to them, and they will definitely listen to you. So definitely get a hold of them if you need your, the right sizes. If you want to get 16 in there, let them know. They'll definitely work on it. Didn't go over the height actually with all of these. This height is definitely an issue with the drawer. 
one and a half. And these are also, yep, one and a half. It's a flush, one and a half. Everything's one and a half in your drawer. Keep that in mind also. Okay, so this is where this 399 adapter comes into play. So you can join your uprights to your bigger slanted ones here. Let's measure this whole puppy right here. Measurement's key. You all want to know if it's going to fit or not. So this total length of two is 25 inches. These are $24.95 also. So $24.95, $3.99, and $24.95. And these are also $24.95 also. These are the screwdriver holders. Let's get on to these. All right, so here are the screwdriver holders. The part number is also here. Holds eight. So on the screwdriver holders, it holds eight. I can open this darn thing. Come on. There we go. Ooh. This sticker came out good. <laughs> nice. Okay, this one's a little different here. Looks like we got spacers. Let me do a measurement with spacers. No, let me do a measurement here with about four of them. So four screwdrivers will hold you back. Just a little over four inches. The whole deal of screwdrivers only. You don't want to deal with the spacers. They'll hold you back. Eight and a half. Okay. Eight and a half. All right. And depending on where you want to put the spacers, these are cool. They got the little toolbox widget logo on here. Okay, depending on where you want to put the spacers, it'd be a total of 11 and a half inches. Let's do one unit and a spacer. It's just a little over one and a half right there. One spacer. Oh, not to speak one more holder, but there we go. Options, options, options. That's what's good about this. Many things you can do with this. So, let's take a look, closer look how wide they are. A little wider, so they can hold bigger tools there. Not bad. So here they are side by side. Here's the screwdriver holder with the spacers here. And here's the wrench holder. Right there. You can see. So you do the gap here. Uh, just under, i uh, say half inch gap on that one. Let's get a closer look right here. Half inch and an eighth on the top. Yeah, half inch and then just just a little under an eighth. And then the wrench holders just go down to a V. With a wide opening of a half inch down to a V to a point. Okay, so let's get to this. No number indicators on the screwdriver holders. Let's get down to organization. Okay, so here we have your semi-old, not too old snap-on setup. Let me do some measurements here. This one is 30, 
I think 30 and a half inch wide drawer. And it goes down to 26 and a half. And we get the depth right here, which is two inches until it starts hitting here. So you got the big branches in the back. I left a little space back here. So this is a 10 piece here and a 10 piece here. A little space in the back. I like to scrunch everything as much forward as you can to uh, grab what you need so you don't have to pull the drawer all the way out. So let's start off with these 10. These are snap regular snap on wrenches. Just a standard metric wrenches here. And uh, let's go down to 13. 12, 11, pretty easy, quick setup, didn't take that long, do them any way you want, the boards back, whatever you want, got the e-torques here, simple setup, very easy. All right, let's do the slam test. They slammed it twice. Look at the gap right here. All right. Didn't have to go all the way back. I have the space back there. There's the gap right here again. And here's the space back here. I have nothing back there holding. These do hold very well. You'll have this gap here between your uh, uprights and your your uh, bigger wrenches in the back. But not bad at all. Let's do some more organizing. So definitely on Instagram, I've got a lot of organization uh, products to show. So here's another one, and it's pretty easy. If you just set these up, you're done. We uh, do this at the end of the day before you have to leave, and boom, you're out. Out a little bit, but they're fine. Once they're in there, they're in there. The bag holds them. Let me show you how thick this uh, liner is. Pretty much your standard liner, and it holds. You can see the orange very clearly. Not bad. Here you are, all done, looking nice. You got three sets of 10 and three sets of 10. So, once again, the drawer measures, the back plate to the front right here, it's 26 and a half. Goes in just about 27 there on the inside. Once again, two inches depth there. So three sets will do you. On a standard snap-on toolbox, and then a 10 here and 10 here. Looking very nice. Let's get on to the little labels. So let's get on to these little labels. Pretty easy. 10 starts here. This is my co-worker's box, so this is the way it's gonna be for now. 12, here, and so on and so on. So this company is a self-funded company, not a large corporation. This is all lifetime guarantee. Definitely, I'll put a link down below where you can find these and a discount code, Audubon10. So definitely check these out. Awesome set, awesome screwdriver set. 
see if I can get later on the use of these screwdriver set. This is with the spaces in between. And definitely check them out, Toolbox Widget. And uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. On the next one. Thanks, guys.